Greetings, everyone. Lily Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, August the 12th. And this is the Bednar Terraland Pack by Nico Pixes. 17.38 megabytes to download. It is a pack of four pieces of equipment. And this is um, quite an interesting pack um, of equipment. And we'll go through each piece kind of, but it is meant, um, designed for something like this, where you have a fertilizer tank. You got an interesting, that's interesting. Uh, oh, I guess that's for, oh, I see. I've hooked it up wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fertilizer tank um, and a uh, either a cultivator or a, a subsoiler and a roller at the back. Yes, indeed. So let's... Uh... <laughs> I've always been used to the spare tank on the front. However, um, been uh, it still works. Um, is it, but uh, I just noticed there's a there we go so <laughs> a three point link with a hitch now you see uh, there's a hose there however it's not hooking up to oh I see why I think I see why no there's hoses okay so Okay, not, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked here. Um, if you go into your mods and DLCs, the Bednar Terraland pack is here. So here it is. Here is a sub the subsoiler. We have a cultivator. We have the um, it's it's it's. So we'll show you where it is under the um, in in the regular store menu. It's it's uh, actually under cedars for some reason, and then roll. This is uh, the roller. So if we go back and do here, uh, the first one's going to be under cultivators. Here it is, the Bednar Terraland TO six thousand seventy two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, recommends five hundred horsepower. That's odd because I was pulling it with a much lower horsepower. Uh, vehicle as will show nine miles per hour six meters wide so they're all nine miles per hour and six meters wide uh, we have an option with or without disc that's just uh cosmetic it doesn't do anything extra the fertilizer kit is what uh you want to have on if you want to run fertilizer i think i didn't have it on uh, oh that's maybe that's why it wasn't uh yeah okay and a back attacher, that's if you want to run uh, the roller or anything else you might want to attach to that for some reason or another. <clears throat> so there you have that um, with the attachment $78,000. Now, the other piece is under subsoilers. Uh, actually, these, these two are base game. Here's the Terraland TO6000 but it's a subsoiler and it acts as a plow six meters wide nine miles per hour 500 horsepower right with or without the disc back attacher yes or no oh this doesn't have the fertilizer option that's what's different ha huh. <laughs> i learned something new every second um so that's why it's not hooking up over here um because the subsoiler does not have the fertilization option, right? Okay. <clears throat> but it has the back attachment, so you can uh, do that. And, of course, let's see. Uh, yes, the tank is under cedars for some reason, but it only holds fertilizer, 3,000 liters of fertilizer. We have a ladder or no ladder, and the color we can choose gray. Oh, that's for the ladder gray or yellow ladder ladder two ladder one ladder two uh hmm 
What does it have letter two or letter? Oh, I see. There's either two letters or one ladder. Huh. Um, just cosmetic again. Um, like so. Bednar. There it is. Um, right. And the last piece is under rollers. And there it is. The press pack PT. A uh, $9,220. Uh, 60 horsepower required. Now, 9 miles per hour. 6 meters wide. Again. Uh, you can have it with or without weights. Again, it's just harder to bowl with weights, I would imagine. And license plate. <clears throat> right, okay, so now we have it in the field, and it's been working well. If you, okay, let's let's set this up actually the way it's supposed to. And this one I do have, I think I have the fertilizer. The fertilizer has been going down. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I, this is, yes, there we go. So hook it up. There we go. Sorry, let me uh, get out. So now there's the hose to the fertilization um, part of it. But this is the cultivator, right? Okay. So the cultivator with the fertilization option will hook up to that tank as well as the roller. Right, so now, now it's even going to be more fun, I think, perhaps, I don't know. Um, I have, uh, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put on not worker friendly, I'll show you why. Um, well, filling the fertilizer is just like you would fill fertilizer in anything. Now, alright, so to manually operate this, let's turn our help window on. All right, so this is our tank. You can open the cover by L1 and left on your D-pad, and it will put out the, the ladders and open the tank for you, like so. Right, so now uh, for our cultivator, raising and lowering it, folding it is like so, L1 and X. Like so, L1 and X down again. Raise and lower it. Now, to turn on the fertilization, you have to have the... <clears throat> is it... Uh, open cover, turn open cover. Hmm. Why does not turn on now? Uh, well, okay, the roller, sorry, I'm having a bit of a moment. Uh, lower the roller and raise it. That's pretty much it for that. Uh, if you hire a worker, uh, the worker turns on the fertilization option. As you can see, it's blue. And he comes to the end now. I might as well show you this. Workers don't much like. Um, so he's going to back up. Yeah, he's going to try and back up. And of course, uh, that happens. And then he's going to try to go forward, which she should have done in the first place. And he'll come around here. It looks like he'll he'll catch it pretty good. But he's going to pull too far forward. And then try to back up again. And go back up sideways, actually. I don't even know why he would do that. And get all discombobulated. And then end up doing this. So, <clears throat> making a fine mess of it, he has. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend using a worker. However, why can I not... Well. 
Yeah, for some reason, uh, maybe if, uh, does that turn? No, I can't turn on the fertilization. Open cover, open cover? No, that's that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, um, I don't know. It's not letting me turn on, but if, uh, let's see here. Whoop, no. Let's, uh, drop that. Turn this around. I'm pretty sure I had it, um, working with it on the front. <clears throat> So we're going to try that, and then we'll show you the subsoiler. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I have it on the front. If you highlight the fertilizer there, it turns it on. So that's, yeah, so you can't have it working the way it wants you to have it on there but if you put the tank on the front like I had at the beginning where it's not supposed to be you can turn on the fertilizer yes right okay so um, <clears throat> let's um, show you the subsoiler for a moment and then we'll be done I haven't tried fast farming with this We'll leave the fertilizer here because the subsoiler does not have a fertilization option. <coughs> right, so it, uh, it basic well, it, it operates exactly like the um, cultivator yet uh, instead of leaving a cultivated state if we look at it over here uh, it leaves a cultivated look and then the roller of course uh, rolls it afterwards if we drop that and go to our roller and drop that and go forward yeah see I'm using just the base game uh, standard Fent um, 200 and something horsepower and it's pulling this stuff at the 9 miles per hour it should so the 500 horsepower I find is way overestimates the amount of power you need for this um, as you can see it's uh, leaving a plowed state and then the roller comes behind it so um, being a subsoiler you can uh, allow to create fields and if we look at our PDA uh, it will um, if it needs if uh, your field needs plowing it uh, leaves a plowed state also <clears throat> it will plow or it will recognize it as a plow uh, now give me a moment let me try something okay so as you see I've uh, picked up a challenger the <clears throat> 640 something horsepower put the um, draw bar on there <clears throat> and uh, as we go forward yeah nine miles per hour so not fast farming with a roller I was hopeful uh, however if we drop yeah if we drop the roller away we go <laughs> so yeah rollers still no way to get them to fast farm just uh, just in case I know someone was probably gonna ask uh, can that roller fast farm no no it cannot um, so again um, not not gonna happen uh, with this one um, but um, anyways um, I think that covers everything. I hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, yeah, and there you have it. That's the Bednar Terraland pack by Nico Pix. Um, 17.38 megabytes to download. It is uh, nine 
So nine slots each for the cultivator and the um, uh, subsoiler. Five slots for the fertilizer tank. And six slots for the roller attachment. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now. <laughs>